is important to be able to recognise and correctly diagnose renal oncocytomas because they are benign renal cortical tumours that may grossly and histologically resemble renal cell carcinomas. More of that later. They account for approximately 7% of renal parenchymal tumours. They are nearly twice as common in males than females and the typical age range is 50 to 80 years old. 75% of oncocytomas are asymptomatic but they may present as pain, mass or hematuria. The pain may be in the flank or abdomen. In recent times oncocytomas are often incidental findings on CT scans, MRI, etc. Grossly, the typical appearance of an oncocytoma is a solid brown tumour with a central stellate area of scarring, and occasionally there may be hemorrhagic areas. The tumours are usually well circumscribed and the typical size is 5 to 8 centimetres, but the range can be from as small as 3 millimetres to as big as 26 centimetres in diameter. This is a typical oncocytoma that has been bisected. You can see the mahogany brown cut surface with a central stellate scar, and the lesion is well circumscribed. Most oncocytomas are single tumours, but around 5% may be multiple and around 5% may be bilateral. In addition, to make things a little more complicated, renal oncocytomas may coexist with other renal parenchymal neoplasms. Histologically, renal oncocytomas have, as the name implies, a granular pink staining cytoplasm. The stroma that the cells lie in may be edematous. The nuclei are uniform and round with a central nucleolus. Architecturally the tumour may show cyst formation, tubule formation, solid areas and also alveolar areas. Mitotic activity is almost always absent, but the nuclei may show some pleomorphism, but this is due to degeneration and nothing sinister. This is the microscopic appearance of an oncocytoma. Here the tumour has a somewhat alveolar pattern, and towards the left of the picture you can see there is a very edematous stroma with only scanty numbers of oncocytoma cells lying in it. And here is a higher power view of the oncocytoma cells with round regular nuclei containing a single central nucleolus and abundant pink staining cytoplasm. This oncocytoma shows haemorrhage with hemosiderin deposition and some degenerative changes. If you look at the interface of oncocytoma with adjacent renal parenchyma, the oncocytoma tends to merge imperceptibly into the adjacent renal tubules. This oncocytoma has a cystic pattern. The nuclei are all round and regular with a central nucleolus, and the cytoplasm is abundant, pink staining and granular. The single main differential diagnosis of a renal oncocytoma is the eosinophilic variant of chromophobe renal cell carcinoma. So here is an oncocytoma, abundant pink staining cytoplasm, round nuclei, no perinuclear halo, and this is a chromophobe renal cell carcinoma. It is the eosinophilic variant because the cytoplasm is staining pink. Note the, there is a perinuclear halo in all the cells and the nuclei have a rather racinoid appearance and aren't round like they are in the oncocytoma. In cases where it is difficult on histological grounds to distinguish between a chromophobe RCC and oncocytoma, a useful stain is CK7. The majority of chromophobe RCC cells show positive staining, whereas 
only occasional cells of oncocytomas show positivity. And this is the typical CK7 staining pattern in an oncocytoma. You can see the vast majority of oncocytoma cells fail to stain with CK7, but there are scattered positive cells here and there. In contrast, this is a chromophobe renal cell carcinoma, and the vast majority of tumour cells show strong positive staining with CK7. So this is really a very useful stain to distinguish between a chromophobe, RCC and oncocytoma.